Good day, people. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the slowing down effect called speed ramp. And basically, uh, here is three examples of what we're going to be doing. Alright, let's get right onto it because this effect is very simple to pull off. First of all, what you want to do is click on the effects button, go on time remapping, and select speed. Next, using either the pen or holding down control and clicking on the line, you want to scrub over to the action that you want to slow down. So in my case, I want to slow this down right there. So as I said, using the pen or using control, you can make a point in time. So I'm going to hold down control and click on the line. And that creates a new point in time right there. Now I go to the second spot where I wanted to pick up the speed again, so right about there. And this time I'm going to use the pen just to show it works. Right there. So now you can go up to the line, and then between these two markers, you pull down the line and that slows it down. Now it tells you the percentage of the footage. Now because I shot this in 120 frames per second, I can slow it down a lot more than I could if I shot it at 30 or 60 frames per second. So to know the frame rate according to the percentage, you can do a simple equation to find that out. So let's just open up the calculator and do 120 times, and let's say we want to slow down to 50%. You guys know that that would be 60 frames per second, so 0.5 for 50 equals 60 frames per second. So if I wanted to find out what, uh, let's say, uh, 20 percent is all I'd have to do is 120 times 0.2 and that's 24 frames but you can bring it out all the way to 13 percent without it being choppy and as you can see 120 times 0.13 equals 15 frames and a half so let's bring this down all the way to 15 I mean 13 pardon me so right about there so now the video is playing at full speed 13% full speed. So to get that ramping effect, you just want to click on this and drag to the left. Click the middle, and you get this tool that allows you to make it non-linear by simply doing that. Next, on this side, drag it to the opposite side. Click in the middle again if you want to, and drag this like that. You can go all the way if you want, but I don't recommend it. So let's watch what that looks like. Pretty cool, but you'll notice the audio doesn't really follow. So because that's like that, you can simply come up to here, You use the razor blade, and cut at the first point. Next grab the audio, and drag it all the way to the right, and cut at the second point. Next using this little bit of audio, just slow it down using the rate stretch tool. Just grab the edge, and pull it and now the audio will be slowed down where the video is slowed down. So that's how you do it. Please leave a like, a comment if that helped. And as always, have a nice day. Until then.